Hi! In this video tutorial, number 5, I'm going to let you in on the big secret. And that is the help files in Max. Open a new patcher up, and now that you've learned some of the basics of Max, you've worked with the three different objects, we want to move on to making more interesting and complicated stuff. However, we're faced with a daunting task because there's 884 pre-made items over here. Who has the time to learn them all? Well, I've been working in Max for years now and I know them pretty well, so I will show you how I would go about making a noisemaker because let's move into sound here and then I will show you a better way to do it if you're trying to explore and learn Max. So, the first thing I would do is go over here to the Explorer and I see a speaker and I put the speaker down there. Great way to start. It's called the Easy DAC. I come over here again. I get a gain control, which is a volume slider. I use my shift click to get an extra stereo output there. I come back up here and I click the I push the letter N on my keyboard. I start typing cycle tilde. I'm looking for the cycle tilde, the sinusoidal oscillator, not the cycle with no tilde. And then I hit the space bar and I type 110 because that's a sort of lower A on the scale. Okay, I can now connect this to this and with any amount of luck if I turn, oh, first we have to lock our patcher down, if I turn the sound on and then pull the slider up We can hear a 110 cycle, um, what do they call it, sine wave. So that's the sound of it. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. Boy, that's kind of, kind of sensitive there. Um, I'm going to turn it down a little bit, and then we'll make some messages. Unlock your patcher. Type the letter M. Type zero. Uh, let's type. We like 110, so another message with 110 in it. And let's go for some harmony, another message with 220 in it. And one last message with 440 in it. For those of you who don't know, whenever you double a number, you get the next octave up, so that's a nice thing. In order to connect all these, I could go this one, this one, this, but it's easier to start down here with this one. Drag your line up here, and before you release it on the zero, hit the shift key down. Shift key on the next one, shift key on the next one, no shift key on the next one. I'm going to hold the shift key down just to show you what happens, because you end up with this extra wire you can't get rid of no matter where you click. You just can't get rid of the dumb thing, so you have to hit Command, click, and it disappears. So there we have it, our simple noise maker. And we're going to lock our patcher again and see what it does. I'll turn the volume back up a little bit. Okay, here's zero. Zero hertz is nothing. 110, just like we heard before. 220 and 440. Okay, nice. So, we made a noisemaker, but it took a fair amount of my experience and know-how just to, like, put these objects out here, you know, and know what the roadmap is for making it. What about when you're exploring stuff? Let's unlock our patcher and do this a different way. I'm going to get another easy deck out and I'm gonna drag it over here 
and I'm going to pay attention here. This is the big secret. I'm going to put my cursor over it. I'm going to push the option key down and click on it. And I get a help file. Now, the great thing about Max and the decision made by Cycling74 was that they would put all of their help files in patchers, just like we're working in, so that you can see how they work. That is fantastic. And um, so we can, you know, actually work with these things. You can unlock them and move them around and play with them yourself. But the really cool thing that you can do is you can copy them. So let's select the things that we recognize here that make sound. We'll copy them. Command C on a Mac, Control C on a PC. Okay, close this window. Don't save that, it'll change your help file. So when you're closing help files, never save them. Okay, and we'll come down here and paste it. Okay, don't need this anymore, so let's get rid of it. All right, so let's see what they did. Remember, th this I made, this we would be making with our new big secret technology, okay? Well, now we know how to make some sound here with this cycle, and uh, this is a multiply tilde, so they had the volume permanently set at 0.1. And we can see that they're doing it with a cycle object. So let's take this a step further and we'll option click on the cycle object. And then we see that they've got a whole different thing in this help file for cycle tilde. And let's unlock that and copy that. Awesome. Control, I mean, command copy on a Mac, control copy on a PC. Close the window. You know, that one was better than this one, so let's just delete this one and paste the other one. So, now we've got an easy DAC. We have a different version of a gain control. I'm not sure why they used that one. Maybe we'll find out. We've got our cycle, just like we have over here. Oh, they have another object here called line. I know what it is. I'll explain it to you and then we have a message to it and then we have the frequency that's going into it right here so they essentially have done the same thing that we've done but slightly different so we're learning something here let's um, let me explain quickly what line does you could go to the help file but I'll just tell you what line does is that it ramps up or down to a value so if you put in the 440 that'll come in as string 1 and then it'll send this number in which is 20 20 over a thousand milliseconds okay so let's grab our uh, messages over here we'll hit option click again to duplicate them and drag them over here and it would be nice if we could get um, some higher numbers too. So let's make some new messages. Uh, 880. And just for this heck of it, 330. Something that, whoops, forgot to hit the end. There we go. 330. Now I have to reorganize. Just by the way, when you have a bunch of objects and you want to organize them, you can go up here and hit the Arrange button, and you can align them in the middle, and you can align them in the center. Whoops! That was a little too centered for me. Okay, so that's good enough alignment. Watch out with that alignment thing. And and get them all over here. So, 
using our trick again of shift clicking to distribute these there we go and what's going to happen is when when we click any of these numbers that'll go in as this is the dollar sign that means string one so the number going into line will be whatever number we click and then this 20 which is two separate messages okay you can also send the 20 in this side so let's make two very different messages for that we'll uh, hit M and we'll hit 100 and we'll hit M again and we'll say 2000 Oh, silly me. Um, that'll all be going directly through this. So we're going to reroute these. All down to here. Nice, huh? And uh, move this one off to the side so we can see it. Okay, so these are now connected directly to the top of this, and these um, will be altering the time that it takes for it to ramp up. So let's zoom out and see how all this is working. We want to lock our patcher. We want to make sure the sound's on. We want to bring the volume up and see. can't hear it yet, but there it is. There's 440 and 110, 220, 330, 440, 880. And you'll notice they change pretty quickly. Let's put in a different number here, 100, and let's see if we can hear it ramping up. There's zero. Okay, it's so fast you can barely hear it. Let's try 2000. interesting so it's it's reverting back to the uh, oh because I keep hitting zero it's reverting back to the uh, to the other number for speed but if you hit the 2000 and then hit 110 you'll hear it or the 330 you'll hear it ramp up okay so that's the milliseconds that it takes meaning 2000 over 1000 is two seconds 100 over 1,000 is one-tenth of a second, and 20 over 1,000 is, uh, uh, what is it, two hundredths of a second, so it's very quick. So let's put this back to zero, and now you see what the big secret is, which is you can just click on something, learn about it, uh, you do usually have to be in the unlocked mode, you can option click on it and you can learn about it and start using it it'll tell you all the things to put into it you know where the messages go what this means etc right so this is uh, fantastic um, but uh, and, and you can do it with other things too let's uh, let's just say you're you want to work with um, recording you can try other ways to do it you could just pull an object out here and say hey I wanna record I wonder what 
is out there. Well, you've got recorder patch and recorder tilde. So you put that in there and then just option click on it. And you get all this information about recording and you could, if you wanted to, select it all, copy it all, close the window, get rid of that, paste it all. Now you've got a patch with a recorder in it, but that's not what we're doing today. I'm just telling you how to go ahead and take advantage of the big secret, which is borrowing from your help files in Max, and then you can put them together the way you like. So goodbye, patcher. Don't save it. Um, let's save this one, though. I'm going to get rid of my old version here and keep this version for the future. I'm going to save it as patcher cycle read. There we go. You can save it as patcher cycle your own name. And uh, maybe we'll use that a little bit later. That's all for today. Save your stuff, patch well, and thanks a lot.